Hello, I'm Nancy Byatt, a perinatal psychiatrist and the executive director at Lifeline for Families at UMass Chan Medical School. I'm going to be summarizing a study led by Anna Schaefer, a close collaborator and the lead author on this study. The title of the study is Increasing Access to Perinatal Mental Health Care, the Perinatal Psychiatry Access Program Model. We know that mood and anxiety disorders are common during the perinatal time period, pregnancy and the first year of postpartum. They occur in one in five individuals. We also know that they have a negative impact on birth outcomes, on infants, and on the family. They are now the leading cause of maternal mortality in the United States. There's many recommendations to screen for these illnesses during the perinatal time period. All of those recommendations also recommend that that needs to be done in the context of a system to help people get care. Because even if a woman screens positive, many do not get care. The perinatal psychiatry access program model emerged as a way to be able to help perinatal care providers to address these illnesses themselves, thereby increasing access to care. In this study, we talked to, at the time, there were 14 statewide or regional access programs across the country, and we spoke with them, we did in-depth interviews, and we also conducted surveys. And the goal was to understand how these programs are being implemented and what are some of the challenges. What we learned was that there's five access program components. The first that was, and the most consistent across was telephone consultation. So if an OB provider is seeing a patient, they have a question, they can call and speak with a psychiatrist who can provide consultation. The second was face-to-face -face consultation, whereby the a psychiatrist can see that perinatal individual for one-time consultation and provide recommendations to the OB. Training and toolkits were a component. Linkages with resource and referrals to mental health resources in the community. And the fifth component was technical assistance, whereby access programs are helping OB practices integrate mental health care into their workflow. We also learned that all the access programs felt that their mission was to increase capacity. And by doing that, that they would increase access to care. And we heard about the challenges they experienced with trying to access therapy when there's limited resources. And when we think about, you know, we know that we're in a maternal mortality crisis in this country. We also know we're in a mental health crisis. Access programs and systems level interventions like it are one way to be able to address these with a scalable approach. There's now 29 perinatal psychiatry access programs across the country. And in order for these programs to be implemented in a way that would be most helpful and be most effective, we need to understand how they work. And this study is a first step towards being able to improve how these programs are implemented and having data-driven approaches to their implementation. We're very grateful to all the individuals who were involved in the study, our participants, the access programs we collaborate with, and of course, all of our advisory councils and collaborators. Thank you.